Better get the main on. Switching off the curry time. I'm just thinking when I layer the biryani, is it rice curry, rice curry, or is it curry, rice, curry, rice? <laughs> Does it matter? Here it is chicken biryani, lamb curry, and aloo gorbi. Brilliant, brilliant. Thank you, really guys. yummy. I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> so nice. Don't cry, don't cry. Oh, the main course was yummy. It was up there. It's a winning main course. It was OK. It wasn't, it wasn't mind-blowing. When you cook prawns, you need to take this out of it. Oh, I de pooed them. I de <laughs> yeah, I definitely... Um, de veined um, Yeah, I de veined yeah. them. Did you? I just can't eat it. Mm. Just wouldn't... No, sorry. Oh, I felt like this crushing motion in my abdomen as she said it. I thought, no! And the fact that she's the one who got it out of all four of us, she got the poo prawn. Oh, well, time for a change of subject. So I have a bit of an icebreaker. I got you each a card and it says to dot, dot, dot. So you can write whoever's name down at the table you want and ask a question you want to ask them. And it's anonymous and you'll wow. shuffle them, give them back to me and I'll read them out. Ooh. Right, now I've got to try and think of a question. The author is struggling to find words. You should be whizzing through this one. I can write you an essay. I can't think of anything to write. So, um, how many books have you written? <laughs> Thanks. I can write, I can make stuff up, but... Make something up. It's called a question. I don't think I've bonded at all with James at the moment. Um, I don't think I get his, his, his sense of humour. I think he's trying too hard at the moment. Heather, where did you get married? I got married in Hereford, where I'm from. James! <laughs> oh, no. What's this? Where did you lose your virginity? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't write it. You don't have to answer that, James. Moving swiftly on to dessert. Zyra whips cream and adds the final touches. And here it is. Gulab jamun. Oh, whoopsie. This is the first time I've ever had an Indian dessert. Ah, really. How exciting. And all I can say is that I'm going to have a taste. Oh. But I'm not going to eat it. Oh, OK. I'm joking. Because... <laughs> it's lovely. I seriously don't eat dessert. Mm. I've got every single thing on here now, OK? So I want you to know that... You've done it. I've done it. Thank you. I just can't eat it. It's very sweet, darling. Taxi! It was too sweet for me. And I don't really eat dessert. I think sometimes people don't realise how fussy they are, and she's one of them, because she just didn't really eat a lot. She always left food on her plate. Right, I know, I know I had some kitchen roll, but I don't know where it is. Mother has put it away. It's all right, though, mate. It was only really to soak up the oil from the samosas. Well, let's just put some oily samosas in our mouths. Who cares? Let's hope the samosas are better than your accents. After deep frying, they're ready. Indian samosas and chicken pakoras with a nice slick of oil. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll just put bubbles in his chair and I'll wash my hands. <laughs> No, genuinely in a chair. He actually is. <laughs> Do you ever feed him at the table? Sometimes. Do you really? Well, it's not, apparently, it's not good for dogs to eat sitting up. They have to be like stirred on oh, their legs. It's not. It's not but really I good do for some... dogs to eat yeah. at the table. At the table in a high chair. Come on, it's a blinking dog. I regularly buy samosas, oh. and I have to say that these are absolutely outstanding. Excellent. Thank you very much. Oh, my gosh, that's such a nice compliment. Oh. I'd just like to thank the little people. Nice I'd like to thank crying. my mum, <laughs> my brother, um, for teaching me, for bringing me up to oh. be such an amazing human. <laughs> 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 for just giving you me... You can calm down now, Kate Winslet. ...giving me the yeah. strength to yeah. make yeah. this. Toby said that it was the best thing that he'd eaten ever, and I'm like, what? Where are you eating, mate? Blinking it, come on. I know she's a beautiful girl, but come on. I have had samosas before quite a few times, and uh, and that's definitely up there with the memorable ones. I, I don't eat loads and loads, so... Have you I... got a small stomach? Yeah, so, I mean, like, I can take it home with me. <laughs> yeah, I can make you don't a doggy mind. bag. Yeah, of course, definitely. A doggy bag. If you want it, yeah, of course. The starter went down a tree. I'm really happy with it. Good reviews. Back at the table, Zyra's trying to work out what her guests do for a living. You are something to do with computers. I use a computer, oh. but I don't do anything in the computing world, though, no. Um. Um, no, I, I use computers to write. So you're an author? I'm an author. Oh, what? Writer. So what? Are you published? I am published. What, what do you write about? 
I write fantasy. You know, Lord of the Rings kind of Middle magic. England. Middle yeah. Earth, yeah, goblins. magic and, yeah, some goblins, uh, that kind of thing, mm. you know. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people out there who'd like to read it from the age of 12 to 16, but, no, nah, not for me, but thanks anyway. I think that you might actually be a lady that's been able to stay at home with the kids. All my kids are grown up now. My turn now. Yeah. But you're nearly there. You work in an office. Yeah, that's really close, isn't it, to being <laughs> looking after kids. That's what a no, stupid no, no. thing to I say. wasn't trying to get that. <laughs> I was trying to get something random. I'm retired, so I suppose I'm a lady of leisure. I reckon that you are an artist of sorts. Oh, you could say. I'm actually a support worker, but I also work for the radio in Basingstoke. Wow. Yeah. Zara's personality is fantastic. The way she comes across, she's bubbly, lively. She couldn't be more energetic if she tried. I could see you easily on a children's really? program. Have you already got a name for it? Sorry. Because you're so Heather. fun. You're you're bubbly and you oh. don't shut up. And... <laughs> Kids love that. They <laughs> <laughs> do. That's that's why I could see you doing it. You'd yeah. be great at it. <gasps> she said I was loud, and I thought. You don't say that to someone when you first meet them. She was probably saying it in a nice way and then hoping that I'll take it in and stop being a little bit more quiet. But it's not going to happen. It's only going to happen when I don't want them to hear me what I'm talking about. And breathe. When she comes to my dinner party, she will not be sat next to me. My ears been aching all night. For goodness sake. Shut up. With his guests in, Toby gets cracking in the kitchen. And here it is, a medley of starters. I will try and endeavour no, 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 to eat quite a no. lot of it. I thought you would de decrease the amount for Heather. I yeah, thought you'd put, like, little... <laughs> like a blob of meat. <laughs> a little blob of meat. Come over. It's all right, seriously. I'll try and eat as much as I can, obviously, but... Yeah. I know there's a main course coming. The starter was so flavoursome. Loved it. For a guy, he really did well. And that's really mean to say, but he did really good. All three courses. Cracking. Prawn cocktail. Yummy. Pate. Homemade pate as well. Also yummy. Um, and the soup. Yummy? Yummy. Thought so. I think my best asset is my mind. No! <laughs> How deep is that? <laughs> that is deep. Why do you think your mind? Oh, because without you, there's nothing of you, is there? I think my best asset is my backside, actually. Oh, hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's what my husband says. <laughs> oh, people love big buns. Are you saying I've got big no, bum? No, shape. No, I mean... <laughs> Did you hear that No, then? I've got big bum. No, I mean shapely, like, round. Oh, I've got round. I, like, I like your bum, OK? <laughs> I genuinely used big bum as a compliment and I think I kind of dug myself a little hole, but I climbed back out of it straight away. I think I, yeah, I fixed that. Boo-boo. You reckon? I found that a bit rude, actually, cos hers is bigger than mine. <laughs> Anyway, time for the main. Toby makes up a couscous before plating up the lamb. I think I'm a rock and I'd be proud of this dish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think his mum would. <laughs> well, here it is, Moroccan tagine. I really want to ask you, Go what made it. you choose Moroccan tagine? It's my favourite. I'm so excited. What well, made you choose it? I've got no pressure whatsoever if it's your favourite. It, it's a good comfort food. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's a different type of stew and I just think it's fantastic. The lamb was so tender, I was very, very impressed with that. The actual Moroccan lamb tagine. Yum. Yum. Really good flavours. I think the main course went down really well, actually. Yeah, I was quite surprised. Worth a gamble. I think it was full of flavour, so, yeah, nice. Speaking of taking a risk, there's something Toby's eager to share with the group. We went on holiday together, and we, um, my wife and I, and we were sitting on the beach, and there was a bloke from up north that was goading me constantly <laughs> as being a southern... Shandy drinking softy. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, being the competitive individual I am, I rose to the bait. We then proceeded to travel for 45 minutes up a side of a mountain to 6,500 feet and told to run with a parachute behind me oh. straight off the edge of a stupid mountain. And I physically pooed myself. <laughs> that is my most I embarrassing love it. story. I love it. I love it. Now everyone knows it. Oh, well, I think it's a brilliant Wait a minute, one. can I ask details now? Did it soil the garments that you were wearing? Did it go through or did it show? <laughs> Was there a black? I think that, I think that, <laughs> There's I the think brown... That's OK, OK, <laughs> listen, I'm still eating. I'm eating. <laughs> don't need those details yet. Let me finish eating All first. Right, Sorry. I don't think they like each other. I think they're tolerating each other at the moment. I think they're totally different ends of the spectrum. 
thankfully, the conversation's moved on. What I, I am a big believer in is that everyone should vote. I think that voting should be compulsory. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A mandatory, you do it. Is it not enough that something like... Well, how many... I think it's isn't it more like 65 million people in this country and 5 million voted and there's, like... It's like a tiny percentage of people Absolutely. that voted, right? Isn't that in itself enough to yeah. tell the politicians that we actually have all pretty much given up on them. Why do we need to sign an extra piece of paper? Mm. Has anyone on the table met anyone famous? There's too many, and that's the truth. I've met wow. very famous people. I've met my mem's idol in her day, and he, that was Tony Curtis. Wow. Wow. He took my hand and he Aww. kissed my hand. I'm so sorry, who is he? Look him up on Google, hey? <laughs> Zyra did not know who Tony Curtis was because I think Zyra lives in her own little bubble. I'm substantially younger than her and she shouldn't be shocked that I don't know Tony Curtis. She should just be like, oh, by the way, you know, come on. Does she think I'm her age? So far, the girls are, you know, behaving. I think it's fair to say, behaving pretty well. No, you know, no arguments yet and I'm really, really hoping it'll stay that way for the main course. Best not keep them waiting, then. Here they are, individual Beef Wellingtons. Oh, look! Ah! H for Heather. That is a lovely piece of steak. Oh, see? That's the main of the week for me. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. When Toby said that the main course was the best main course of the week, well, there's not much comparison, is there? There's this nervous James fluttering around like a little puppy, and then he comes out with this amazing beef wellington. It was beautiful. I think it would be wrong if I called myself a legend. Go on! <laughs> you know what? If, if, there were, if there were a point in my life where I could call myself a legend, it would be now. Bet that feels good. I think I've absolutely hammered that. <laughs> <laughs> if I could be invisible at any time now, I would go round with someone else's credit card <gasps> a rich person's for a credit card, and I'd pay for all the pensioners shopping at a local supermarket. Aww. Legend. <laughs> I would love just to go in the village and find out who's needy about the, maybe their dishwasher's broken down or whatever, and then just go buy it and send it to them <laughs> without them knowing who I am. Yeah. Well, you're all being a little bit too mature. Let's get, let's get real <laughs> now. I'll just go into a, bit... a bank, get in the safe, start packing a bag and disappear. <laughs> I'm not, you know, I wouldn't, couldn't steal any money from anybody. <laughs> I'm never going to be invisible, Heather. Never. <laughs> I know, but it's in your thoughts. I'm never going to be invisible. Heather twisted what was a, a, a throwaway comment within a dinner party scenario. She could have just said, yeah, funny, knowing full well that you wouldn't actually do that. She s snapped it up, didn't she? She thought it was a great point to attack. <laughs> and she's got issues with Zyra's table manners too. You used your knife, young lady. You don't get your knife and go... Oh, I didn't do that. Yes, you did. I went like this. You it's mustn't all right. do that. You're a lady. So, James, can I ask you... Learning from the best, <laughs> Heather. Learning from the best. <laughs> Absolutely, darling. I'm glad I have you here. I wouldn't know anything, would I? <laughs> <laughs> I think that poor old um, Zyra and Heather, they don't get on. They've not got on from word go and... and uh, I don't understand why. I think it might just be a bit of jealousy on uh, Heather's part. Tuck in, guys. Thank you. It's yummy. Yay. Hey, thank I you hope very you enjoy much. It. I'm sure it will be gorgeous. <laughs> we have to taste it first. Smells, lo it smells lovely. Does it? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Very flavoursome. Really, really good. The ratatouille was gorgeous. Uh, the pork, gorgeous. A new word. The main course was yummy. Ah. The main course was um, not my favourite this week, actually. And I've never seen ratatouille like that. What's your chicken like? I'm so sorry, there's a hair on it. Well, I, if I just, I'll take this bit off. Is that okay? I'm sorry. I'll try. I want to see the hair. I want to see it. Is it my hair? I don't know. What sort of hair is it? Um, it looks like a black one. I'm very sorry if you've got a hair on it. Don't worry about it. Enjoy your food. It's really tasty though. Good. I'm glad you like it. I made an effort for you because we were eating pork and you couldn't eat it, so I had to make all your, your food separate. You found poo in my prawn. I've just found a hair on my plate. Hair versus poo prawn. I think hair's worse. Well, it's ruddy close. I just knew she was going to do something. 
because because I said about the prawn. Like, you know, about the vein in the prawn. So I knew she was going to do something. Um, she doesn't like me. I don't care if she likes me or not. And she can't hold it in anymore. You were so loud and so irritating when I first met you. I thought, how am I but, going to cope with you? But only irritating to yourself, because I quite I'm not, liked I heard, Excuse me, can I just say, I'm talking about how I felt, not how anyone okay. else felt in this group. I don't know what you think of Zyra. You've never said. No. Like, you didn't know what I thought, so... I think they had an idea. The person at the start, the one that annoyed you, that's actually me. Uh, this quiet one isn't me. That's me just probably toning down a bit. Well, so I, I think don't that's really... You. But you, you're really lovely when you're toned down. It's very strange that Heather is still being the same with me. She's not even trying harder to be nicer to me. Awful strategy. I'd say Heather hasn't been in many competitions. She doesn't know how to win the people over. It's not the best strategy, upsetting your guests. Um, no, that, that's going to backfire. I think sometimes maybe you need to learn that it can upset uh, people quite uh, a lot. No, 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 you're patronising me. Don't do that. I'm 55 and you're a child to me. You're, you're in fact, you are the same age as my younger... We, my we, younger I didn't mean to be patronising. We understand, like, we understand Toby, that. Toby, please don't... Toby, don't fight her corner. Yeah. She's old enough to fight her own. I'm not saying that. What I'm trying to say is the dynamics of the table is changing dramatically now. I think it was the right idea to step in to calm the situation. Um, at the end of the day, there's, there's no need for four people that were strangers only three nights ago to walk away with a cat fight on the final night. No, that's silly. If you don't get on, you don't get on. That's life. At the end of the day, we've, we've spent a good week together. Oh, we've had, had a, a really good week. week. And we've, yes. we've had our moments, and obviously we're having a moment now, and I feel that we just put an underline on it. I don't want to leave this week with a bad taste in my mouth. Heather and me will never be friends. Ever? Ever. Thought so. No. She doesn't like me, and I don't like her, and that's it. Tonight, I didn't enjoy any of the courses and I didn't like the atmosphere. So for that reason, I'm giving it a four. Ouch! And here's Heather with the results. This should be interesting. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is, oh my God. This is the Go best bit ever, oh. all right? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't believe this. I really don't. You put me forth. Oh. No, seriously, I think you all have really put me, obviously, give me a low score. And I, I'm really sad about that. You've really peed me off, actually. <laughs> Someone's got to come forth, haven't they? No, because my food was better than any of yours. Seriously, I am so shocked that you gave me what you did. My presentation was amazing and far better than any of yours. And, what, and I came what a forth. Way, what a way to end a week. No, I'm sorry. I'm so upset with all you. I've been so honest about you. I could have given you a zero because yours was <laughs> right? Do you know what? I don't deserve fourth. I'm sorry, I'm going to bed. Forget it. I'm so upset. That is so sad. Well, yeah, I, I don't know what to say to that. I'm to speechless. Oh, yeah. I'm right. speechless. Well, that went well. Come on, Heather, finish the job. There she is. Third place is Ira. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, well done. Second place is Toby. Whee! Hey, hey. Good one! Oh, my dear Lord! You were the winner! <laughs> and you're the winner. I thought I was going to win, but oh, well. <laughs> I'll get over it. The food this week has been great, but, I mean, clearly, no, mine has been the best. I'm going to keep in touch with Toby and James. <laughs> and that's it. Fair enough. Cheers. For more on Come Down With Me, head to the Channel 4 website. I'm gutted I didn't win, but, yeah, second place. Not last, is it?